my dear friends welcome to raj shekhar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 409 in this lecture we will try to understand bootstrapped aggregation bagging intuition the first ensemble technique that we will focus on is called bagging bagging is also referred to as bootstrapped aggregation remember you learned this word bootstrap when we learned about statistics we learned about bootstrap sample we will use some of those basic statistics or we will use the intuition from some of those basic statistics to understand what is bagging again bagging comes from bootstrapped aggregation just see that word bagging is coming from this particular thing this b a g g isn't it yes uh, i can i can say again bagging comes from bootstrapped aggregation it's a very very interesting idea let's understand the core intuition of bagging very popular bagging model is random forest it is very very popular and extensively used algorithm which is based on bagging core intuitive idea bagging goes as follows core intuitive idea is as follows imagine you have data set data set of n points let me say dn what what i would do here is this i would actually sample i would sample a bunch of points from this this is basically xi comma yi this is my complete training data so what i would do here i would sample a bunch of data i will do sampling with replacement when i do sampling with replacement i take dn and create my first data set dn dash dn dash has actually has m points i can use these points to build model m1 isn't it how many points are there in dn dash let it be m points by using those points we are building a model m1 remember all these sampling with all these samples with replacement for those of you forgotten what is uh, sampling with replacement means what it means it means i randomly pick a point from dn i randomly pick a point from dn and put it put it in dn dash since i picked this point i don't delete from dn original data set i will not delete from original data set dn then again i am sampling dn dn2 yes by using points in dn1 um we are building model m1 in similar manner i can always collect dn2 isn't it by using the points in dn2 i can build the model m2 so on let me take dnk by using points in dnk i can i can build a model mk i collected i collected k such samples and constructed m1 m2 mk k models so i have k models here remember each of these models are built on different sample different samples of data this is not built on total data each model mi each model mi is built using dn dni isn't it of size m where m less than or equal to n which is basically means each model mi has seen different subsets of data this is very very important you built k models after building k models i want to combine all these models if you want to combine all these models into a big model capital m this is called an aggregation you have bootstrapping stage the sampling is called bootstrap sampling the samples are called bootstrapped bootstrap samples bagging is basically bagging is basically creating bootstrap samples 
on each of the bootstrap sample train a model train a model on each of bootstrap bootstrap sample and then aggregate all these models into a final model capital m a typical way to aggregate a typical aggregation suppose if if you are doing classification suppose, suppose if you are doing classification a typical aggregation operation is majority vote seems seems logical on the other hand if you are doing regression a typical aggregation operation a typical aggregation operation would be to would be to compute mean or i can say median so what what is happening literally here is literally here what literally here is we, we are taking on, on each sample of data i am training model on each sample of data i am training the model suppose we have trained all of them after you train all these models what do you have finally after training all these models you basically have m1 m2 so on mk and you have majority vote isn't it after training models after uh, okay, let me repeat after you train all these models what do you have you have finally after training all these models you basically have m1 m2 mk models and majority vote my final aggregation step is majority vote let's assume you get a new query point xq now i will send this query point xq to each of these models at run time at run time the way it works as follows after sending query point if m1 says it belongs to class 1 m2 says it belongs to class 0 if mk says it belongs to class 1 i have the k classifiers isn't it if more than k by 2 if more than what can i how can i say if more than if more than k by 2 classifier says it is class 1 if more than k by 2 classifier says it is class 1 then i will declare it as i will declare it as class 1 why because i have two classes class 1 class 0 otherwise i will declare it as class 0 that's what majority vote basically means you have majority vote which which we learn in knn this majority vote concept we love we already learned in knn this is how it works at run time very very simple idea aggregation in the classification in the class in the in the case of classification in the case of classification in the case of classification aggregation means majority vote what is aggregation majority vote in in the in the case of regression in the case of regression aggregation means what aggregation means i have to calculate mean or i have to calculate median is it it is is it not simple idea In the, in the case of classification the typical aggregation strategy is majority vote in the case of regression we actually take mean or median in the case of regression what would happen instead of giving class labels i will get yq1 yq2 so on yq k so what do you have yq1 yq2 so on yq k you want to get yq how will i get yq it is simple it is mean of yq i i equal to 1 to k yq1 yq k mean or median of yq i i equal to i equal to 1 to k just try to understand this just try to go through this concept if you have any difficulty please keep a comment i will continue my lecture on bagging in my next lecture also that is in lecture number 410 thank you very much